Did y'all watch the uh, get the game last night? The Egg Bowl. The winds were strong yeah, that day, my friend. Yeah, the uh, ESPNU had the '97 Egg Bowl. Oh wow, uh, the fight. I don't know if they showed no, all thank that. thank God. No, thank <laughs> God they didn't. <laughs> they're, they're fullback. You, you I had him right where I wanted him. Right he, he, he had, I, I was choking him, but he, but he held me up about two feet off the ground. I had him right where I wanted. <laughs> I tell you what, with, uh, without our linemen out there or linebackers, oh, yeah. I mean – they Come really, on, that's my excuse. No, I mean they, they really could have done more. Uh, we, you know, you guys out there, completely held your own. It wasn't like some big, big ass whipping, really. You know, they it, they could have been, but so many of the, so many of those, their guys were just kind of huddled around, just jumping up and down. Yeah, but, you jumping know, they, up and down. You know, it really because it was. It could have been ugly enough. Poor, poor Bettis got it pretty bad. I, yeah, I threw Bettis at him and I ran. Yeah. <laughs> Thank him. <laughs> hey, I, save, I was telling my 12-year-old about Deuce and explaining the whole situation. <laughs> yeah, you just threw him in front of the bus and, and ran. <laughs> uh, spe- hey, speech don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, here comes Migo. Migo, right. <laughs> what you in the aquarium, bro? Yeah. <laughs> He's in botanical gardens. Botanical gardens. <laughs> you got to unmute your mic, brother. Hello. I think he's muted. Nah, I'm, I'm here. Having hard good, times, man. man. I'm trying to be like you guys. See, That's people. Tracy Morgan with a with a Shark Tank behind him. I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man! If y'all can tell me how to get me off of this, get this screen off. I use this for work every day. Hey, y'all can't even see me right now. Hold on. You gotta flip it I'm, around. I'm staring yeah. at you. All right, Terrence is trying to log on. There he is. Big cat. Boy, ain't in Mississippi no more. <laughs> T, you look like you're in a better place than we are. Who's that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't see him. Oh, he's probably on the other page. Yeah, yeah, you go one over. Hey, what's up, bro? You got me, bro. <laughs> that man got palm trees in the background, man. I tell you what. All right, can you guys see that right there? Share in the page. Yes. All right, and you can still see you're on the screen over there in the right, right? Yep. All right. Yep. So I was going to ask you all if, if you thought this should – since you're the pilot bunch, if this should have a show title or if it just should be more informal. So I thought – I got three options. I wanted you all to help me pick, okay? All right, so the first one is Zoom time. It's pretty lame. I put it in there just to have one that was really terrible, right? No. Terrible. The no. second one, <laughs> Rebel Roundup. Terrible? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then the Todd Wade show starring Mike. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 didn't I told my son, call, I said, hey, uh, Terrence is going to be on here. DK's dad. He goes, you played with DK's dad? <laughs> How many times have you – I said that. This kid don't hey, listen. Hey, yeah. So I wanted to show y'all something real quick, just to put you back in context of 1999. So these are the uh, 71 offensive lineman Todd Wade. These are your headshots. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Who <laughs> want to see my? Uh? That's, that's wow. All Let's see who we got next. Armijus. Here we go. Number four wow. linebacker Armijus Spearman. Hey man, y'all got too much back there, man. <laughs> Miko, you, Miko, you held it together a little better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. We got hey, boy, that's... 36 offensive lineman. I don't Big flinch, baby. Reyes. Big sexy. He going to be smiling. Watch. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> man, two times. Yeah, I can, I I can see him smiling with his mouth closed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, no, man. This is who's going to be smiling. Who's going to be smiling. Peterson. 
back, oh. reach back. All right. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> the radical fall, baby. You can't beat it. All right, let's if my see. grandfather was a bald Number eagle. 11, quarterback, Romero Miller. <laughs> Smiling. <laughs> Baby face. Or so <laughs> you got on the gown. You look man. like you were 11. Now, yeah. all right, so Terrence, you, you look, everyone else looked at the camera. You look like you're angry at the camera guy here. Number 79. Offensive they probably was. Terrence Metcalf. What's this? Yeah, they probably told me I was not going to get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> man, why I come hey. here? I should have went somewhere else. <laughs> hey, man, uh, did that? Hey, you look like Deep over there. <laughs> hey, hey, two you days for the I was not going to play. <laughs> oh, man. So I wanted to give you guys and some envelopes. a little context uh, for your, for yourselves back then. So let's just jump into that, to that, uh, that game. We're talking the 99 Auburn game. Uh, who wants to lead us off in terms of y'all's mentality going in and what point of the season that was? Kind of set the stage. Who's got maybe the clearest memory or the best ability to, to color it up? Hmm. Man, I, I really think going into that game, man, I think two-ton and Todd was the uh, the two. Uh, Migo, were you a senior that time? Uh -huh. Did you come out in uh, 2000 as well? Yeah, Corey was Those three Corey guys was were the three that was getting ready to go and go into the draft that year. So I mean, Corey, you left that year, or did you go Corey, in two thousand one? He was a senior. Well, so you Todd and Tuton were a year older than us, uh, but we were yeah. they redshirted, right? So y'all, y'all had been around longer than anybody. Yeah. So I mean, the, the oh, field, yeah. you two talking about. Yeah. You know, playing under yeah, tub and, and how how the whole change came about, and just the the atmosphere of the difference. Because I think they 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 saw the change with the different classes. Because as, as everybody started coming in, and just I I can just see just how the offense changed with all of us, and then with Amigas, how the defense started shifting as the guys started coming in, and the recruiting classes started coming in, and you could just see our attitudes with, with us knowing that our numbers was low and then how hard they made our ass work and practice and then give about the numbers and how much they made us run, how hard they made us live. Like for me, game day was like, this all we got to do? <laughs> Play a game? That, that, that's it. You know, and just for them, like for us, just having them, just the just the shift in the tide and just you know that that's why I said for them to lead it would be just would, would be better um to me because they saw the change in in the culture in the locker room and just our attitude they helped develop and shape our attitude from the lack of having certain things and showing us how we can change the culture of Ole Miss you know what I'm saying so well, going for me going into that type of game. So for you guys, y'all had a total different staff. We still had Coach Kaufman. So you know, <laughs> for for us, it was it was like you know what we got to do this for for art. So that that was like our motivation because you guys were always one of the strongest points on our team as the offense. You guys had some explosive people between the youngsters, Nero. We got the offensive line with – we got three of them on here right now. And we got still got more that were really uh, important. So, for us, we needed some help on the defensive side. But that mentality that Art Kaufman brought was, hey, guys, it was one of those, hey, I was a lo the lone ranger left out. So, it, it was like, hey, let's do it for Art. But it, it wasn't that – for me, it wasn't that I, I hated Coach Tuberville going in that game. It, for me, it was more like, you know what, we did have one guy that stuck it out with us over here. So for us guys on the defensive side, we utilized that to give us that motivation to go against a team that was much stronger than we were as far as their offense versus our defense, especially after watching those clips. So they had you know, some weapons. You know, I remember that game because it was just so built up in Oxford. <laughs> Um, I never forget the sign at Abner's on the square where it was count down 
uh, 50, 50 days before Auburn, you know, 40 days before Auburn, 30 days before Auburn. So it was built for the team, but man, it was built up for the for, for the Ole Miss alumni and the fans also. And, you know, just going out there playing the game, and I just want to leave it all out there. And we was able to do that and uh, come out victory. Because I, I remember watching the plays today, the last tip ball down at the two-yard line, I think it was – I don't know who it was – but uh, to get us that win in overtime, man, it just brings back some memory tears of joy right there, baby. It was who, too? Yeah, I, I think it was Corey. Did Corey, didn't you put the ball and catch it or something like that? Am I, am I bugging? Yeah, it was Corey. Yeah, it was Corey. So, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think, well, for me, we we had – we were a little bitter, you know what I mean? And the line, meaning the offensive line, because – Coach Nall was Nall. really like a father figure to us. And yeah. before the game, before the game in 98, oh no, no, before the Egg Bowl, the rumors started circulating about the potential of the staff leaving. So, you know, we we fronted Coach Nall like, yo, y'all, what's going on? He's like, nah, man, I'm, you know, we, we focusing on this game. We're not worried about any of that stuff. So we, we like, all right, so we go out play Mississippi State and then, after the game, Coach Nall comes back over to us and almost with tears in his eyes, he's giving us these prolonged hugs. Remember that? And yeah. he's sitting there like, nah, something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, something ain't right. And he, I remember his words were something to the, to the uh, paraphrasing here, but he was like, it's going to come a time in your life where you have to make decisions for you and your family. And you guys don't understand that right now, but you're going to understand that later. And I just want to let you know I love you and all of this stuff. So he's like, yeah, they out of here. And I don't know if you remember... The rumor was that Coach Tubb took off at like two in the morning on the private jet <laughs> to the game, yeah. left Oxford and never came back. So we actually found out that he left the next morning on Sports Center. Yes. So we literally held that that animosity. You know, twenty nineteen year old kids, we held that animosity to the game the next year. So I know for myself, the O line, we like, man, we coming out there, we gonna play Auburn, we gonna bust they ass, and that's how we felt going into that game. CP. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm I, I'm just looking at all y'all and having flashbacks and memories of all the stuff we went through and county fair with Tup. There's no cotton candy or or clowns at this fair and um, hate ball. Man, those, I'm, I'm having all these memories come back. I, I just want to hear y'all talk. I mean, because I'm the type of guy, uh, as you know, prankster. The things I remember is uh, County Fair five mile run. Uh, Mitch mm -hmm. passing me twice. Uh, Baker <laughs> passed me at one mile, and then the the three and a half mile mark. The you know the line uh, the linemen uh, walk, act like they're jogging. I pass them again. I'm just turning around, going, "How, did this how am I passing?" <laughs> and then the stories. But anyhow, I digress, man. This. Um, <laughs> That game, that game was was something I'll never forget. And it was one of my favorite games ever, and um, just the crazy memories and dreams I still have about it. And uh, one of the the things in my mind is after the game, and I think it's from one of the the tapes of the game, is Tuton walking off the field, dropping a bunch of grass or something. I mean, I just remember never wanting to leave the field. And the locker room and that 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 moment with your brothers and man, I'm getting goosebumps now. So <laughs> take it, Todd. Now, uh, Terrence, you mentioned uh, Kendall Simmons. I was thinking of Marcus Washington when you said that. And yeah. uh, I played with I played with him in in Washington, Washington. and he was. He probably should have been. I mean, he was a heck of a linebacker in the NFL, but uh, he should have been a down. He should have been dudes a rush a rush in because yeah. I mean, ninety eight, uh, mm -hmm. he was he he could he could get off the ball, and so that was a big matchup for mm -hmm. myself. And so I was, uh, you know, I, I was I was eager. It was, it was, I knew I was had my hands full, so he would he would have been able to contribute a little bit on the story himself. Uh, but it's funny, yeah, I know. Probably a number of us have talked to Auburn people that were on that team over the time because we talk have a lot of the same similarities and the kind of uh, physical abuse we took and some, yeah. <laughs> some of the things uh, that we had that we had to go through. Uh, so I think it probably probably meant a lot to us uh, going into that game. But you know, going back to 
going going back to that uh, clip on YouTube, you know, watching uh, us, you know, in that in that game, we ran a lot of play action uh, offensively. Um, you know, they, they respected a running game and really play action. Romero, you can talk about that, but really, uh, we were able to re- really do some damage with them. Well, you know, they had, a, they had to respect the running game when you got the big hogs and you had Joe and um, Deuce in the backfield. You know, yeah. watching the clips yeah. and all day, just seeing those guys, we just remembering mm-hmm. how physical and how fast they were back in the day, man. And, like, that was a special group that we had to come to Ole Miss, man. And, you know, when I go back to the games now, the fans, they always talk about, you know, some of the memories that they had of us. You know, because post probation, we was one of the we were the class. Uh, us, our generation, was the one <laughs> to bring the program back, and and we, hopefully, uh, we left some good memories and some 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 alumni, some fans, and even ourselves in our mind just from that game that day. And of course, you don't like to brag, but shoot, you caught the you you caught the um, the touchdown pass in overtime, and I think uh, you probably I mean, got you that in your house, and it probably all over all over Oxford right now. So that's just one thing that we can take we can take. Um, Take pride in and know that we just left some great memories out there. Hey man, that was that was uh, that was amazing just watching the, the 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 film, and then you go back and you look at the names that was constantly being called: Tyler Williams, Kamon Fisher, uh, Anthony Sims. Just the emotions in the game, man. So many guys that we forget. Class of 94, 95, 90, uh, 96, 97. And and ninety eight man and just ninety nine everybody contributed to the success in that game and I think it did carry on and I completely forgot about the whole Tuberville ass oh my bad y'all know y'all know a cat <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that you know what I'm saying that whole situation of that clown yeah. doing what he did I think he's the only one that you know none of us really connected back with, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. we've all heard from uh, Mazzoni. We've all uh, reconnected with Coach Coffey. We've all connected OP. with Anandio. Yeah. You know, over and over and over, man. Coach Price, Coach Knox, all those guys mm-hmm. reconnect. But Tub was the only one, you know, the riverboat gambler, the guy that sat in the uh, golf cart doing camp – I mean, doing training uh, – when we were in practice, that never really connected with the players, anyways. You know what I'm saying? So you can see so, uh, what, what do we time call and time again. They call him the Riverboat Gambler because of the fourth down. We call him. We like call him. See, see, we call him something else. Something else, what, no what, doubt. <laughs> we can't say it. We can't say I'm it. not even gonna say it right now. Hey, <laughs> you know, but there was just so many guys that you tend to forget that was making plays in the game, man. Until you watch yeah. the clip in court, like Romero said, dude, you had a huge impact in that game. Not mm-hmm. just the touchdown catch, but just the wide open catches. Like uh, when each time that we needed a big play, you would ever make yeah. it. Uh, Maurice Flournoy, man, when he made uh, the big big catch uh, towards Sanford, guys that you tend to forget because you hear about uh, Joe because he was such a huge impact. Uh, Deuce because of his huge career. Um, and then two, Todd, so many of us, but then, you know, Ben Claxton, uh, Kedrick, Shane Grice. Kedrick Grice. I mean, yeah. we can go on and on and on across the old line. Could, could mm-hmm. get it. And, you know, you know, Terrence, amazing, you know, even, even Terrence, when you were talking to us then, you were talking about our class and stuff like that. I mean, we were still thin in certain positions. Yeah. You know, then yeah. they even go up there and play against yeah. some of the people with probation. It kind of yeah. reminds me of what the team is going to have to go through now. But one thing that we had, man, we had heart, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> we had heart, man. And, and, and that's you know, what I was the talking guys about with Todd and two times. <laughs> That's what I was talking about with Todd and Tutan and Amigas. Guys that was in the locker room before us getting in there, they had already shaped the attitude. They wasn't accepting no, no, nothing less than the best from us when we got in there. That was in the way I can remember teaming up with Tutan in the weight room from the jump. We went at it in the weight room. You know what I'm saying? So the attitude was set. I was strong coming in, but I got stronger because of my buddy, my partner, my brother right now. To how we teamed up in the weight room. I can remember Todd uh, lifting in the weight room, power cleaning 400. You know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing that, so I'm going after that. 
you know? Yeah. And hey, so if those guys don't do that now, then they'll never understand what it what it takes to mm-hmm. to to develop that in the locker room. Hey, Miguel, that, Miguel, I you know, yeah, I, I like the Quincy Jones look you got going on right now. I just wanna say <laughs> Hey, these are glasses, man. man hey, are real glasses. I, I like I, I like it, man. Hey, and do they do they know you can do a backflip? Who everybody on here does. So oh, you talking about the kids that I work with? Yeah. Hey, Todd, I can still do it. Only thing about it is once that back bends that way and the, all those I know the first. Ow. I got about two weeks of, of rehab to get back right. Yeah, I, I hear you, buddy. <laughs> Hey, how's the shoulder doing, by the way, man? I have a, gi- a giant ball that I lay on. It's not for this purpose, but for the back. <laughs> I stole it. And this is, oh. this is my friend. Hey, you, 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 I, I think you know, I'm the only one who sees him. You know, going, going back to when uh, uh, there were rumors about them leaving, I remember it's a shame Ronnie's not on here because – hey, remember- yeah, yeah. What's that? Oh, anyway, I remember specifically, uh, we're getting ready to walk into Starn Center. It was, it was Ronnie and I. And Ronnie looking at me, it was right before Arkansas game. It was Arkansas week. And uh, I guess we're going to Arkansas. And that was a, that was a, that was a game, right? And in and, and, and 98. And I, I remember, I remember that. Was, it was already the big locker room talk. Hey, remember Ronnie, you think he's going? You think they're going? I was like, mm-hmm. I think they are. And you're right, you're right, though, right before that last game, though. That, um, I remember Nall in the offensive line room. Um, remember we'd have a position meeting sometimes before mm-hmm. home games. We'd go in there for a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's, that was – I remember that. And then also I remember – and also Tubb did a – gave a little speech before the game as well that was a little different. Do you remember mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, vaguely, yeah. Hey, uh, looks like Terrence might have dropped off. I don't know if accident or not. Hey, so <clears throat> I'm trying to keep this thing in a manageable time for, for consumers and, and for y'all's sake too, but I think we're going to need to do this again, okay? Uh, but before we go, I have two surprise guests that I wanted to bring into the room here. If, they, if they've oh, got yeah. enough internet connection, let's see here. It looks like Ken Bongo is still connecting. Possum is welcome. I don't know about King Crane, though. <laughs> Mr. Ross, Mr. Crane. They're the same person. <laughs> hey, it's when you, it's when you, uh, hey, when you, when you split a cell, when you split a cell, Possum. Oh. It creates, it creates possum and Ken Crane. Ken, what's up? Budget. Can y'all hear us? Y'all uh, un- I'm, I'm mute. You're on mute. Let's see. Let's hey. see. I'm mute. Yeah, possum. What's up, guys? Hey, happy oh, retirement, yeah. my man. Hey, thank yeah. you, man. You and Ken got about the same on, amount man. of years. But Ken, you ain't leaving yet, are you? I don't Ken's know. Smiling. Ken's smiling because he's getting Possum's job. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Hey, hey, Corey. <laughs> now everybody's going to be asking Ken for, for some, uh, some shorts. And Ken going to tell him, hey, you dress better than I do. <laughs> what <did you> do? <laughs> hey, Possum. Possum, so do you remember when we first, I guess it was, what, 95, 96, I think. Our uh, our uniforms were like Aramark or something like that. I don't know. Old so house. We used to always <laughs> like, was it? Sports, 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 bell. Bell. sports bell. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We used to say we got the same damn uniforms as the, as the cafeteria lady. Like, <laughs> so, so I don't know if y'all remember. <laughs> I used to cut out. I used to take the white shirt <laughs> and I would cut out swooshes on them. I would stick the swooshes on our jerseys and they would get so pissed. Like, we don't have a Nike contract. The coaches would be hot. I ain't care. I started cutting them out, giving them all the players. So we would all go out with little swooshes on because we wanted the Nike contract and all of that. Yo, I remember yeah. Combine. I remember Combine doing that. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. said Combine? Quentin yeah, Wilson. Yeah. His, his, his birthday is, I think, today or yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Q, I said, what's up, man? How's he doing? It's good, man. He's down here in Atlanta. He's doing well. I haven't Gotta seen him. Gotta get some water, yo. I haven't seen him forever. 
I'm just here to get some film, yo. I'm just here to get some film, yo. I need hey, some film. The- hey, Possum, was was it your idea for us to um, go to the Turner Center for our indoor facility to practice? <laughs> I take up the water. Um, <laughs> Romero, throw me a post alley oop. <laughs> hey, I, I did want. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What you got? I was about to ask y'all. Remember those shoes that we called them boat shoes with the big air on the side? The big A I R. They were red and white. Y'all got to remember those. Oh yeah, Freaks. They were probably some of the worst shoes ever possible. But I do. Hey, I need, it. I, I I need a new Gatorade hat. <laughs> there he is. Hey, that's the trainers. That wasn't us. We didn't do Gatorade, so. Well, my hey, my question was, of, of all these guys for Ken and Possum, who was the most difficult when it comes to just the everyday needs? Oh, <laughs> yeah. We didn't have anything to give away. Say again? We didn't have anything to give away back then. You could actually tell somebody no. I mean, Micah, that shirt you're wearing now is because of our sacrifices 25 years ago. <laughs> hey, tell them again, Possum. Remember, <laughs> hey, how many pairs of socks were we allowed? Do you remember that? <laughs> hey, yeah. two pairs of socks or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we don't have the yeah. texture, the texture. You get those, the old best triple XL football. <laughs> Remember the yeah. material? You wash it, you wash it. I mean, it's just it's like the Hulk Hogan stuff. You just pull apart. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing hey, like they get today. Hey, our dorm, Kennard Hall, is a jail now. That should tell you something. It's a My old room thing. is the hall. Hey, your wow. room is the uh, – the, uh, it is the hole, no doubt. Hey, Peterson, I, was I that, came, was I that came home that, once that, and there was a roach playing my Xbox. <laughs> That's your day. <laughs> hey, was that you that set them fireworks off in the hall in Kennard that smoked up the whole hall? Oh, I, I'll tell you, that person is not he, – he was supposed to join us, and he's not okay. on here. <laughs> really? Ronnie, and, it was, and, it was, and it was a smoke grade, and we all scattered. Oh, like, my God. And so I didn't get any specific dirt from Ken or Possum about who gave him the hardest time or who gave him the biggest runaround. I know today there's so much more gear to – request that it's it's worse now than it was then but somebody had to be the most needy of these guys well well i'll tell you this he's not on this call but in 1997 i had a countdown of walker jones (laughs) i was like seven days six days left (laughs) him and eli just tormented the hell out of me I mean, Those pretty boys, man. It was a pretty boy <laughs> linebackers. Yeah, and Eli would wear Adidas shoes. That really pissed me off. Oh, yeah. like Possum, you and Ken, y'all didn't like my uh, my chin strap issues, did you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you remember hey, that bowl game? Bowl hey, watch. Hey, <laughs> hey, how much? Hey, I gave them to my dad, and somehow he gave them back to me. Uh, how I much? Bet he did. <laughs> did you ever get that in back to back years? Then we get the same gift, <laughs> something yes. like that. Yes. Yeah, you, 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 could, you, could, you could see where they scratched out Motor City Ball and wrote it independent. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Motor City Ball, we got all that boathouse gear, and everybody said, they said, man, Possum's got the boathouse logo on his house. <laughs> <laughs> that boathouse, man, I remember. I swear I still got one of those jackets in my dad's closet somewhere down there. I promise. <laughs> Boat house. Well, hey, so you said Ronnie was about to jump on? Yeah. He might have to join next week's show because we're, we're running up on – we're at 50 minutes, which is – that's a lot of content. Outside of Possum, I don't know if anybody's got the time to watch that. Well, you don't have anything going on. <laughs> don't, hey, please, Micah, don't make this end. Uh, this is, this is, Micah this said, is hey, the I thing ever for I'm me. not with editing all of this nonsense now. Come on, y'all. We just, <laughs> we're, y'all getting dry now. We'll start this again next week. <laughs> if Ronnie jumps on here in the next couple minutes, we'll uh, we'll see if he can uh, answer a, a trivia question or something. And then we'll call it – we'll, we'll wrap it up for this week's episode. What do we – decide we're going to call it? What's that? The we show? need a name. Ask Possum, ask Possum and Ken. We need a name, guys. Hey, well, y'all got an idea? Tell, for- 
Tales from the Teuton. <laughs> and I can be the voice. Welcome. Hello. Tales of the Teuton. Oh, my. Hey, too. Who were your favorite, who were your favorite game at Ole Miss? Which one, what was the game? The game? Your favorite memory game. Your favorite memory game. Um, shit. Hmm. I think for me, it was probably that last, uh, I think the last bowl game we had, the last independent bowl game. Mm -hmm. um, no, no, no. Yeah. But, matter of fact, the, the, the first, the one we played, um, who was, who was Monte Regal on? Remember Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Oh. Texas Tech. Hey, uh, son got drafted Texas. last night in the first round. Receiver. Yeah, I saw that. Really? I saw that. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think that that was I think that was one of my more memorable games you know because that? leading up to the game, uh, Todd and I we had to face Monte Reagan, who was a tree. He was the Burger like a Burger King All, All American or something like that. Yeah, he was that beast. And they just kept in the newspapers. Coach Nah, I mean uh, Coach uh, Latina. Everybody was just saying how he, he was just we didn't have a chance and he was gonna kill us the whole game, but. It got into our heads. I remember before the game, me and Todd was like, we want to shut this dude down, man. Whatever we got to do, we can't let his name get called. We can't let him hit Romero. And it was the new regime's first game because, again, Tuberville and him had left. So it was almost like we had to prove ourselves not only to them, but to the world that Ole Miss is finally, you know, really ready to take the next step in terms of what the program was coming off of probation. So the one guy that could erect the, you know, wreck the game Todd and I just made sure he didn't touch the quarterback, you know, and, and I remember that game. It really meant a lot to me. Um, and then after the game, the coaches said, this is the game that's going to put you on the map for next year. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm with that. And Todd did his thing. We did our thing. And we, we used to have this thing. Todd and I, we were, uh, we were I forgot what we called it, but we would block the, the, the defensive end. And at the corner of our eye, when we were running them around the quarterback, we would look and we knew it. And then we would just stop. And the, and the defensive end was running to each other. So, so we used to do that so all dirty. the time. We were so dirty. We were doing all the time, man. So y'all were really were dirty. We slept with each other. Really we, yeah. slept yeah. with each other. Yeah. And then, then we go celebrate in the end zone by doing the one to eight and high five. Yeah, yeah. So that was probably one of the games that I remember. That and then um, I think junior year for me, Ole Miss in 90 uh, – LSU, I should say, in 98 – because that was the first time, well, was the second time we beat them. But that game was the first game that my father and my brother actually came and saw me at. So they didn't come to a game until my redshirt junior year. So that meant a lot to me too. And we got the victory. Gotcha. Okay, let you know that was the man. You know, that was, that was one of my favorite games too. In the time of, the time of day, you know, the, the, sad, the setting to win that game. And then the, just the, sun, the sunset. I mean, was, everything was just perfect. Uh, the crowd was there, you know. 11.30 in the morning, or there's a What's that? No, I think you broke up right there, man. Yeah, yeah. That's that olive branch internet. <laughs> yeah, that's that. I, 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 I was getting, I, I was, I, I was getting him uncomfortable internally. I was uncomfortable for you. <laughs> well, still, still. I was trying to hold off. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just try to let him finish stuttering or whatever he got going on. But yeah. no, I was like, is it, is no, my, my internet wasn't going in and out over here. So y'all, y'all let me let me make it. What were you saying? What you say though? No, I was asking you that were that game the one in uh, in Baton Rouge at 11:30 or was that in Oxford? In Oxford. No, that was that was the Oxford one. Okay, that was yeah. The Oxford one. But That's Halloween. The Halloween. On Halloween. Halloween. Night. Halloween night was crazy too. They were throwing batteries at us. And yeah, remember that? That's yeah. the game. Yeah. That was the game where Corey caught the ball at the two yard line and got hit at the one, and the ball went up in the air and fell in his lap in his own. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I still, I'm, I still have nightmares that I, I lost that ball. I'm telling you, man. Oh, so funny. hey, so two times. Thank God, I, I that ball came back into my lap for your father <laughs> to right, see you, right. man. I'm boy. <laughs> oh man! Hey, speaking of those LSU games, so too that was the offensive side, but LSU for us, y'all remember Kevin Falk mm -hmm. and how much of a beast he was for us during those LSU games. Mm -hmm. I think one one year for all of us defensive side guys. We ended up holding the what, like twenty eight yards one year. One yeah. of those games. That was that was ninety eight. That was that ninety eight game. He didn't get off. He didn't do anything. 
So, yeah, for us, man, what, three out of four years we beat LSU? Hey, yeah, and hey, 99, we rushed for 400-something yards on the Hogs, <laughs> man. Yeah, but I what mean, happened that year before? We this is what we talk about because they killed us defensively. Yeah, like Amigo, I remember the ninety seven. What I remember about the ninety seven game was on a bus driving back. Um, they had the LSU uh, radio talk show, and all the fans <laughs> was calling back, calling in, but pissed off because they lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, my bad. <laughs> Meryl, how do you remember everything, man? Man, I just remember the, the craziest stuff, man. Yeah. At halftime in the 97 game, I remember Kaufman, and I don't know the exact defense, but he said, we're going to switch to Pony. <laughs> and that's what he I, said, Pony, I thought he was. I swear, down, I think he's telling the truth, man. He sat down, everybody's over there shaking their head up and down, and he didn't score another touchdown or run the ball or anything after the second half. Well, hey, I remember Leroy at halftime saying, if y'all lose this game, that's a drug test. <laughs> the ones that are laughing are going to have a drug test. Ken, what did, Ken, what did Robert Reed say uh, before he lost the lead? I don't know. Oh, this is being recorded, though. I don't, I don't need to be said. <laughs> After the prayer. Zoom, zoom, zoom out. Yeah, Craig, you hey, you caught it. You hit the nail on the head, didn't you? Yeah, after the prayer, he jumped up and said some stuff. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the one and, uh, and then the '98 hey, game, Cover- Coverville's in the coach's locker room, and he's like, "You scared, Ken?" I said, "No, I'm not scared. You're the one that needs to straighten up because they got signs over there talking about how the bad they're gonna beat you. And last year's game was a fluke. He says it to y'all in the dang <laughs> speech." <laughs> I remember that, but I remember. <laughs> Tough real like, yeah, yeah. Hey, speaking of the pregame speech, do y'all remember Coach Price's pregame speech? Was was that before Auburn one year? Do y'all y'all remember that when he was yeah, talking? All about I remember they, they they were the greatest. <laughs> all I remember was put your foot on his throat. And I'm just leave it at that. <laughs> it was a lot of uh, a lot of excitement and um, spit flying everywhere. So it was it was nothing but emotions and no. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. It didn't record it. <laughs> well, gentlemen, yeah, I think we reached the statute of limitations, man. We good. You can tell you can tell the story. Statute of limitations. Uh, back. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna leave it alone, man. I work. I work in athletics, so <laughs> all in all. Hey, Amigo took a, a Miss Champions job. Hey, I wish I could. Hey, honestly, y'all, I don't see how Miss Champion and those guys. What do they have? Like three academic people. Yeah, mm. right. we got like twenty. She should have been the highest paid state employee. When I look back <laughs> at it, man. Hey, you know, just I agree. So keep half of our, our guys eligible from back then. I know there was a lot of petitions being written back when we were in school. I didn't know that much. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, hey, I know what you're about to say, Michael. You, you've been trying to say it like 10 times. Well, I, I mean, I, I just want to save some uh, some ammunition for the next time we get together. So I wanted to try to put yeah. a bow on it here so we can wrap out and then uh, take a look at this product, boil it down to the best stuff, cut out Ken Crane, and then uh, – <laughs> <laughs> He yeah, probably didn't record, say. knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. But hey, I, anybody got any parting uh, words of wisdom or, or 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 memories or shots at each other they want to take before we sign off? Love oh, yeah. you, brothers, love man. You That's all I can say. That's yeah, it. man. So much love, man. Man, so many memories are coming through right now. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Way, I want one of those mustaches. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have to buy it. <laughs> About three Yo, weeks. Dude. It's about three weeks. I'll I'll shave this off and realize how bad it looks. <laughs> so I'll let it grow it back. Then I'll shave it off as it gets a little bit. You know, J- Justin's got one going too. So we're we have a we have a beach trip where we have not given up on going down to Destin at the uh, May twenty first. So we'll be down there and uh, we'll have mustaches. Well, man, y'all I'll shave this off. Be, be safe, brothers. All right, y'all have a good yeah. one. All y'all be we'll come safe. Come see you, Ken. I'll talk to you soon. All right, y'all. All right, hey, Todd, I'm going to get with you, man, too. Fellas, y'all take care. I love it. Good to see y'all, brother. All right, Pops. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right, brother. Hey, congrats, Pops. Hey, thank you.
Congrats. Awesome. You're my hero. Get the statue up. <laughs> Ken, make sure there's a statue. Ken, uh, Ken Crane isn't wearing uh, pants right now. He's naked. <laughs> hey, Ken, there's a, there's a pond behind my house, and there's a blue heron that comes every morning. We named him, we named him Ken Crane. It looks just I like I appreciate that. It means I'm, a lot. I appreciate it. And I was blue Micah, hair. hey. <laughs> Micah, thanks, brother, man. Hey, that was my pleasure. All right, bud. Take care. Okay, man. Thanks, Ken. See you guys. See you. See you. Later.